Well, now to a heads up if you're driving near schools in Norfolk. Crews installed 19 cameras near 10 school zones. The goal here is to catch drivers going too fast during times that students are going to and leaving school. Now, starting Monday, drivers will receive a warning if they're caught speeding. But after 60 days, police will start issuing $100 fines. Now, there are signs warning drivers of those new speed limits. And we head to this now Newport News. City leaders are hiring for hundreds of open positions, but city workers say there's one position that leaders need to fill most. Well, Casey Baylor explains the latest effort in getting candidates through the door. More than 560 jobs are waiting to be filled in Newport News. And that includes part-timers, so that number is actually a little higher than full-time regular. But what we're finding is there are certain positions that are just in critical need status. Allison DeChoso, the director of the city's Human Resources Department, says positions requiring a commercial driver's license are highly important. We have five different departments in the city that use CDL drivers. More than 100 open jobs require a candidate to have a commercial driver's license also known as a CDL, and many of those positions are open within the Public Works Department. Right now we have about 60 vacancies. About 40 is straight equipment operator positions, uh, backhoes, excavators. Public Works Director Frank James says the vacancies are having some employees work overtime. But we don't want to burn them out. But city staff hope a new effort will help get those positions filled. It's called the Breakthrough Bonus Program, where a person hired for a city CDL position can earn more than $5,000 in bonuses over four years. Current employees who refer new hires benefit too. On that employee's first year anniversary, he gets an additional bonus, and the person who referred him gets an additional bonus. James hopes this new initiative will get more employees in the door so his team can better serve residents. People's dollars are on the line. They want to make sure that we benefit them and provide the services they expect. In Newport News, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Newport News City staff asked that you have a commercial driver's license permit before you apply. The city offers a training program to help new hires get a CDL. If you're looking for the opportunity to work in Newport News, tomorrow might be your chance. It's one of three hiring events for Newport News Parks and Recreation. The event is from 4 to 7 at the Denby Community Center on Warwick Boulevard. This hiring event is family friendly and some of the open positions include facility attendant, lifeguard and school age program facilitator.